Hi, good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, before we start, is my audio clear? Am I audible? Can you hear me clearly? Yes. yes. Thank you. So, how's everybody doing today? How about you, Sailene? I'm doing great, ma'am. Thank you. And uh, you, Hazel Pay? I'm doing just fine, ma'am. Thank you. So that's good to hear, class. I know that your vacation is approaching as well as your final exams. I wish you the very best and good luck to your finals. But please don't stress yourself too much and take enough time to rest. To do so, you have to finish your requirements ahead of time and avoid cramming. That's just simple reminders for you. I hope you wouldn't mind if I'm giving you some advice. And are we good, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you for responding. Uh, let's now begin our lesson for today. But first, uh, Ms. Estimada, please lead the yes. prayer. Um, let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine guidance, we would learn how to listen attentively to the input of our teacher. May we appreciate his or her effort in imparting her knowledge to us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Temada. Before I forgot, may I ask Ms. Secretary if there are any absentees for today? Ms. Velasquez, is there any? No, no one, one is absent now. Thank you, Ms. Velasquez. Very good class. I'm always delighted that all of you made it made to our made it to our class today even though some of our some of us are having some difficulties in coping and adjusting ourselves in online learning maybe the problem is their ways and means of joining online classes or some financial problems or anything that we can elaborate since we are in different situations but i hope everyone is safe and we should not stop here right take care of yourselves class physically and mentally i'm getting too long here and let's start let's start shall we yes ma'am Okay. Wait for a moment. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So please be active and always participate in our lesson. If you have a problem in your microphone, you can maximize the chat box below for you to be able to par participate. Okay. So as you can see, we have here given dialogues between person to person. In this conversation, we only have two characters, so I need two volunteers to read the conversation with feelings. But first, I will be the one to read it for you guys. Then I'll be choosing who will be Wal and Yoon from you. Okay, so let me read it first. Uh, some kind of trivia. Wal and Yoon is uh, R names from Korean. It is pronounced as un or yun. It depends on the reader or the parents who gave the names of their child. So while, well, hello yun, it's nice to know that you came back here to our province. How's your stay here? Our place is not as noisy and busy as your place, is it? Hi Wal, well, good to see you again. Yeah, actually, I've been staying here for about four days. Hence, I could say that it's really refreshing and stress-free here, isn't it? I'm glad that I got to see you today. But how about your family? How are they? Speaking of my family, my mom is not staying with us anymore. I thought she mentioned to you that she's planning to go abroad for work, didn't she? Ah, yes. I can still recall our chats about that matter. It's good to know that things went the way she wanted. So how was your sister doing? She used to stay by your mother's side, isn't she? I hope she can adjust herself easily. Uh, yeah, I think she's trying her best to adjust in our new family setup, since she knows that it's for our own good. By the way, you're not eating yet, are you? Ah, uh, yes. I haven't eaten since last night because I'm looking for fresh seafoods to eat. Sadly, I can't go alone to the market. You will come with me, won't you? Of course. There's no way I could say no to you, Yun. But I think we should eat first. My sister cooked some fresh crabs and prawns from our lunch. 
those are your favorites, aren't you? I wouldn't mind if you join us. Really? Thank you all. I would say no to your invitation either. Let's go, shall we? You never really change, do you? Let's go. So, okay, since I read it already, I want you to try it and read it with feelings just like what I did. With right pronunciation and intonation, of course. And you should read it clearly. Who wants to be well? Any volunteers? Any volunteer? So if there are no if there is no one to volunteer, I will call from our class. Sailene. Hello. Hello, Sailene. Okay, I think she's having some internet connection. How about how about Hazel Faye? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you will be well. And how about Yoon? Who wants to read Yoon's line? Class, any volunteer? Okay, um, Miss Estimada, you want to do you want to try? Okay, I think they're having some internet interruption. How about you, Mikael? Can you read Yun's line? I'll try, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So, let's start. Um, so, okay, Faye, you will be... Um, you will be Yoon and Mikael will be Wal. Now let's proceed. Go. Hello, Yoon. It's nice to know that you came back here to our province. How's your stay here? Our place is not at, it's not as noisy and busy as your place, is it? Hi, Wal. Good to see you again. Yeah, I actually have been staying here for about four days. Hence, I could say that it's really refreshing and stress-free here, isn't it? I'm glad I got to see you today, but how about your family? How are they? He's speaking of my family. My mom is not staying with us anymore. I thought she mentioned to you that she's planning to go abroad for work, didn't she? Oh yes, I can still recall, recall our chat about the matter. It's good to know that things went the way she wanted. So how was your sister doing? She used to stay by your mother's side, didn't she? I hope she can adjust herself, is it? Yes, I think she's trying her best to adjust in our, family, in our new family setup since she knows that it's for our own good. By the way, you're not eating yet, are you? Ah yes, I haven't eaten since last night because I'm looking for fresh, safe food to eat. Sadly, I can't go alone to the market. You'll come with me there, won't you? Of course, there's no way I could say no to you, Yun. But I think we should eat first. My sister cooked some fresh crabs and prawns for our lunch. Those are your favorites, aren't you? I wouldn't mind if you join us. Really? Thank you all. I would say no to your invitation either. Let's go, shall we? You never really change, do you? Let's go! Thank you, Hazel Faye and Mikael. Um, now, can you make a specific scenario that builds up in your mind after reading the conversation? Who do you think they are? And what is their relationship with each other? Are they lovers, siblings, or what? Any idea? Yes, Mr. Pinto. Uh, yes, they are. Any additional information?
Hello? Yes, Mr. Pinto? You want to add? Um, thank you, Mr. Pinto, for the intro of the story. It's a good observation. But how about you, Ms. Peralta? Can you add some specific details about what Mr. Pinto have said earlier? Ma'am, I think Wal and you met accidentally, and it is obvious that they were both happy seeing each other again. It is also shown in the conversation how close they are back then, because Yun is close to Wal's family. All right, thank you, Mr. Pinto, and of course, Ms. Peralta, for sharing your observation and conclusion about the conversation. But it's not our main topic for today. I ask you those questions so that I can make sure that you guys really understood and analyze what you and your classmates have read. Aside from your classmates' opinion and conclusion earlier, what are your own thoughts and observations, uh, Mikael? We are not talking about the real story behind the conversation anymore, okay? I'm asking if you have noticed about the construction of the sentence used in the conversation. Is there anything that is repeatedly used in the conversation, Mikael? Okay, maybe Mr. Guevara is having some hard time with his internet connection. So, yeah, Mr. Pinto, give it a try. Yeah, that's, um, let's go back to our first slide and see what is Mr. Pintos talking about. Wait for a second. Is this what you're talking about, Mr. Pinto? What is exactly the specific sentence you're talking about? Uh, very good, Mr. Pinto. This is what I am asking for. What do we call that kind of question? Faye, what do you think? Ma'am, I don't have any idea what it is called. Yeah, that's okay, Faye. That's our main topic for today. That is called... Okay. Question tags. But ma'am, what are question tags? Kindly read. Any volunteer? Um, yes. A question tag is a very short clause at the end of a statement, which changes the statement into a question. Thank you, Miss Hazel. Just like what? Um, just like what Mr. Pinta said, there are questions in every sentence used in the conversation. I intentionally made it that way since it is our main topic for today. But these are not usual questions that we can usually encounter in reading selections or speaking with someone. These question tags are not a real question. It is used to turn a statement into question, but always remember that question tags aren't meant to be answered by real answers. People are using question tags to simply have their confirmations. A simple nod or yes will do. In this sentence, our play is not as no our place is not as noisy as B and busy as our place, is it? The whole question is not considered as question tag. What do you think is the question tag in this sentence? A um, man. Yes, Hazel. Um, Mom, based on. Based on the definition given earlier, stating the que question tag is a very short clause in the end, I think is it is the question tag in the first statement. Correct. How about wait? Yeah, sorry. 
correct. So how about in the second sentence, what is the given question tag there? Kindly give us the answer and call for someone from your classmate to answer the next numbers. Would like to volunteer. What's this? Is this Mr. Pinto? Okay. Um, in the number three, the question tag in the sentence is, are you? Am I right, ma'am? Yes, Mr. Guevara. So, we'll, you we will be the one to answer question number four. Miss Peralta. Miss Peralta, are you there? Okay, so the given question tag in the fourth sentence is, won't you? So, uh, very good. You got it all correct. Now that you are aware of some types of question tags, it is also important for you to know how to form question tags properly. You need to acknowledge the given auxiliary verbs in each statement so that you can choose what question tags you will use. Just like here, can you see the first statement? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So our place is not as noisy and busy as your place, is it? The given auxiliary verb there is is. That is why we use is it in a question tag. How about the second statement? What is the given verb given verb there? I'm so sorry. Yes, Mr. Pinto. Yes, nice observation, Mr. Pinto. If that's the case, we'll be considering using dummy auxiliaries. Are you familiar with dummy auxiliaries, guys? No, ma'am. No? Okay. So later, we'll talk about it. For now, let's proceed to number three. Mikael, would you like to try it? Ma'am. I don't have idea in number three. Sorry, mom. Yeah, it's it's fine. So, um, okay, Mr. Pito, can you answer that one? Correct, Mr. Pinto. So, how about the fourth one? I think fourth one is the same as the the same in number two, ma'am. Am I right? I'm not sure, ma'am. Actually, uh, the statement number two doesn't have any given auxiliary verb, so um, they don't come with the same manner so the fourth statement is um the given auxiliary in the fourth statement is will do you understand mr Guevara? yes ma'am thank you so correct it's nice to know that you can tell what are auxiliary verbs in a sentence for that it will be easy for you to choose question tags properly but how about the case of statement number two there is no given auxiliary verb but we still manage to form question tags what do you think? Do you have any ideas? Okay, so this is when dummy auxiliaries enter the scene. In the statement number two, there is no given auxiliary verb that you can make question tags from. What is question number? Uh, what is statement number two? She used to stay by your mother's side, didn't she? Hence, we consider using do but since the word you the word used in the sentence is in its past tense form we use did instead of do in question tag is that clear everyone yes ma'am 
Plus one. So aside from dumb auxiliaries, and for the fact that question tags are made based on the given auxiliaries, have you noticed something on how question tags are formed, Ms. Peralta? Yes, ma'am. In the fourth statement, why did we use won't in the question tag even though the given verb is will? Why can we use will instead? Um, that's a nice question, Ms. Peralta. Actually, it doesn't only happen in fourth statement, but it all given statements also. Notice that if the sentence is affirmative or something positive, the question tag will be negative and vice versa. If a sentence is negative, we will use an affirmative tag. Just like, for example, uh, you're not eating yet, are you? The statement is negative, so we used positive question tag. And you will come with me there, won't you? Will is an affirmative auxiliary verb, so will not is a negative question tag. That is why I'm asking you if you have noticed something about the statements and question tags you had as an example earlier. Oh ma'am, that's the reason why if the sentence has an auxiliary verb will, the question tag will be won. And if the verb we used was don't, the question tag is still. Yes, that's right. But always remember that. But always remember that. Okay, class. And you must always remember that we can't use negative affirmative guideline in every statement that we will encounter. Just like, for example, this one. Um, uh, let's go, shall we? Notice that we didn't follow the negative affirmative gu guidelines. Instead, we have different rules in forming the, this kind of statement with question tag. The rule is if we use... Sorry. Ito. Ito. The rule is if we use the Hello, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Notice that we didn't follow the negative affirmative guideline. Instead, we have different rules in forming this kind of statement with question tag. The rule is we use let's in a statement. You should use shall in a question tags. Now, give me an example of a statement with question tags using that rule. Um, yes, Ms. Peralta? One example is let's get shall we. Thank you. How about you, Mr. Mikael? Ma'am, let's done, shall we? It's an example. Yes, Mr. Guevara. Very good. You are really learning. If you can notice, I'm asking you to give me an example in each statement or in each rule that I introduced to you. So that I can make sure that you can follow and understand our lesson, okay? Tell me if I am being too fast or if I need to repeat something, okay? Yes, ma'am. So, we usually, we usually use question tags only for checking. Just like what I've said earlier, question tags aren't meant to be answered. Simple yes or nod will do. People who use question tags are not complete, com commonly expecting for an answer. But last, always remember that we can turn and use checking tag to a question tag by just changing our pronunciation and intonation. Just like, for example, Let's use our given statement earlier. This one. Notice the different or the difference between my pronunciation or the way I read this sentence. Our place is not as noisy and busy as your place, is it? It's a falling intonation. This is the right intonation. Our place is not as noisy and busy as your place, is it? Or you're not eating yet, are you? It's just simply asking for confirmation. But how about when you're really trying to ask someone that you're really expecting an answer 
or a specific answer to that, you're going to use rising intonation. Like, you're not eating yet, are you? So, see the difference? Simple intonation makes a lot of difference. Um, Mr. Pinto, please choose one statement and read it out loud, emphasizing the difference between falling and rising intonation. And call, call one of your classmates to proceed with another number. Okay. Is that a rising intonation? Okay. How about falling intonation? No, same, use the same statement. Okay, call for someone. Mom, I will try the fourth one. Okay. Fall Go for the falling intonation first, Mr. Guevara. You'll come with me there, won't you? Okay. Next is the rising intonation, ma'am. Yes. You'll come with me there, won't you? Thank you, Mr. Guevara. Thank you, ma'am. So, call for someone to continue. Miss Peralta. I'll go with the second statement now. Okay, Miss Peralta, proceed. She is to stay by her mother's side, didn't she? Is that falling intonation? Yes, ma'am. Okay. She used to stay your she used to stay by your mother's side, didn't she? Okay, thank you, Miss Peralta, Mr. Pinto, and Mr. Guevara. See the difference? Simple intonation makes a lot of difference, as I've said earlier. Checking tags can be used to ask genuine questions. They function in exactly the same way as other questions. So listeners will respond with genuine answers. Let us now proceed to the common problems that we may encounter while using question tags. Okay, so common mistakes in using and formulating question tags. Number one problem. Kindly read, Mr. Guevara. Students get locked into single question tags. Thank you. So here, um, students get locked into single question tags. Many English words and constructions work in a similar way to English question. That is why students get the basic idea of question tags easily, but then mistakenly use a single question tag in various types of sentences. Just like this, for example, we'll meet tomorrow, isn't it? He won't have any problems with his new school, isn't it? They tend to use isn't it in a different types of sentence since isn't it is the most common question tag as you can remember, as you can see. So uh, for some, maybe it sounds right because they are used to it. But for us, especially those who are language majors, they will be bothered if you tend to hear this in someone's conversation with their friends, right? Yes, so, yes, thank you for responding. So, how are we going to correct this? What are the right tags we we can use instead of isn't it? Yes, Miss Peralta. What should we use for the first sentence? Ma'am, instead of using isn't it, we should use won't we since the given verb is will and the statement is affirmative. Yes, Miss Peralta. How about you, Mr. Pinto? What do you think we should use to replace isn't it in the second statement? Thank you, Miss Peralta and Mr. Pinto. That's right. Both of you are correct. Another mistake is kindly read. Any volunteer? Yes, Mr. Pinto. Yes, so 
Another mistake is students avoid dummy auxiliaries do. So they tend to use the wrong tag, like this one. They cook a meal, wasn't they? There is no given auxiliary verb, so they made a tag out of nothing because they are avoiding dummy auxiliaries and ended up using wasn't they instead of using don't they. Sometimes students, and here's the number three problem. Kindly read. Um, yes, Mr. Guevara. Students miss mismatch verbs and end up using wrong question tags again. Yes, that is why I asked you earlier if you are aware of what is an auxiliary verb and ask you to give some examples. In using question tags, it is a must to determine which verb is in, is in the statement we should use. Now that you are already aware or you already know how to use different kinds of question tag, let's proceed to our oral graded recitation that, so that we can check if you really learn from our lessons. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. How about you, Ms. Veralta? Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. So all you have to do is to think the right question tag that would fit the given statements, okay? This are the given statement. So is five or ten minutes enough? I think five will do. So let's proceed let's proceed, shall we? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So your five minutes start now. If you want to answer, just call, just unmute your microphone and call for me attention if you already have the answer. Um, can I answer number one? Oh, that's too fast, Mr. Guevara. Okay. Give it a try. Um, I think the question, the question tag that can be seen number one is aren't you? You're a Canadian, aren't you? Am I right, ma'am? Yes, correct. Because the given uh, given auxiliary verb there is are. So we use aren't you since it, the given statement is affirmative. Thank you, Mr. Guevara. Okay, Mr. Pinto, give it a try. Why do you think so? Yes, correct, Mr. Pinto. Thank you for that explanation. You really learn. So, would like to answer number three. Mom. Would like to answer. Can okay. I? Yes, go, Mr. Guevara. You have seven cuts, don't you? Yes, I correct. Yes. Okay. Do you have something to add? None, ma'am. Okay, thank you. How about you, Ms. Feralta? Can you share your answers? I'll try, ma'am. Go ahead. You're not here in the Philippines for many years, are you? Yes, correct. Since the statement is negative, we should use affirmative question tag. Oh, 
Okay, Miss Mr. Pinto. Okay, that's correct. How about Mr. Guevara? Mom, what I number? Need... Uh... What number, ma'am? Sixth statement, Mr. Guevara. It's not, it's not easy to have a twin sister. Isn't it? I think the question tag is, isn't it, ma'am? Okay, I, I think we're having some mistake there. It should be, is it, since the statement is negative. It's not. Not is in the Thank statement. You. So we should use is it in question bag, Mr. Guevara. That's okay. Yes, We're still learning. And we had we have a lot of rules to learn. So let's proceed. Okay. Mr. Pinto, give it a try. Okay, thank you, Mr. Pinto. How about you, uh, Ms. Peralta? You have stayed in America for so long, haven't you? Haven't yes, you that's met? correct. So for the last statement, Mr. Guevara, would you like it? Would you like to give it a try? Yes, ma'am. So you've been a business student before, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so um, that's correct. Now, I think all of you already mastered the rules and different types of question tags and the right uses of those question tags. Any questions or clarifications today? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. How about you, Mr. Pinto? Do you have any question? If none, let's call it today. Thank you. Thank you, class, Thank you, for attending our class today. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you, Mom.